let's talk about the Internet of Things. The Internet of Things combines two different ideas in a powerful way. One is the cloud, that is the Internet with computation and storage. So the Internet provides us with worldwide connectivity. And today we have servers and um, disk drives that allow us to do massive amounts of computation on massive amounts of data. We combine the power of the cloud with embedded real-world visibility and, and uh, connectivity to the real world. So we can connect up the cloud to a number of devices that themselves uh, are used to control cars, perhaps appliances, our homes. Um, they may even monitor um, our health. Now we call these devices edge devices because they're at the edge of the cloud. So this combination of edge devices connected to the real world with uh, the power of the internet and the cloud uh, is what we call the internet of things. Uh, to look into it in a little more detail, our edge devices are embedded computing systems uh, that have processors, memory, and I.O. that talk to real world devices. In the cloud, we have uh, servers and most importantly, we have databases. So these databases can store all sorts of information uh, that they receive from the cloud, uh, from the edge devices. And that data can be used not just to, uh, for collection, but can also be used to analyze and figure out uh, how to control our, our edge devices. So the Internet of Things allows us to first collect data from edge devices. Could be sensor networks. There are sensor networks in, uh, for the environment, for buildings, all sorts of things. Could be smart appliances. Could be RFID or radio frequency identification, which are those tags that are used uh, for all sorts of merchandise. They're used in um, proximity identification cards. Um, they're used in all sorts of, of applications. We can use the cloud to analyze data. We can take the data in from our devices and first find patterns, see what's uh, perhaps interesting when something is unusual, and we can also send alerts. So when our analysis says this is unusual or this is something that needs attention, um, it can alert either a person or another program. And um, we can use the Internet of Things to interact and control edge devices. So, for instance, um, we can gather data from home monitors. We can then, for instance, identify when there might be a leak in our plumbing in our house. And uh, then we can send an alert um, to a, a cell phone. We can uh, turn off a device, all sorts of things. Uh, we can use um, this interaction for things like smart card access for buildings and for payment. We can use it for medical monitoring. We can use it for um, traffic control, all sorts of applications. So if we think about areas, there's environmental sensing, building, patient monitoring. We can use uh, RFID to track both things and people. Uh, we can use it in medical applications, and there are all sorts of applications in energy management, both in small, smaller scales like smart cars and also larger scales like home and ener building energy management. So the Internet of Things combines embedded real-world I.O. with global connectivity and powerful analysis to make our real-world devices even smarter.